So I wanted to talk about this for a while because the second flight test of Starship was honestly one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in my entire life. It is the largest rocket ever flown, this is the most powerful rocket ever flown. It is um, crucially, I think, and this is a big sort of insight, this is a big reveal um, as to what rocket technology is really capable of in the future. It is crucially the most, the heaviest rocket ever flown. It is um, it's made of steel, which is very unusual for a rocket. Rockets are usually made out of aluminium. Um, famously, the Saturn V had every you know like grain of weight they could take off the structure, off the rocket, pared away and shaven off of the rocket. And um, yeah, Starship is uh, a very very heavy rocket. It's made of steel. It's made of a heavier material. If we were to be making rockets out of um, say for instance uh, advanced plastics or carbon fiber even such as uh, rocket lab do at present if you were to combine those two technologies um, pioneered by rocket lab and spacex you could have a rocket that's the size of the empire state building and this is where i think we're going i think we're going on to stages of far larger rockets one day maybe in the next 20 or 30 years we'll see those sorts of machines taking off and um it's a, it's a dramatic, profound, stirring sight to watch the launch of Starship, I think. And um, <clears throat> I can't wait for Flight Test 3. I think um, I have... Well, I, I, don't have, I don't have any expectations, really. I don't know how it'll turn out. I don't suppose anyone ever does know how it's going to turn out. But um, there's things I'd like to see from it, let's say. There's things I... Don't, yeah, I don't expect to see from it, but I'd, I'd like to see them land it. <laughs> I'd like to see that technology yeah, being being seen, being demonstrated. I'd like to see it get to orbit, um, obviously. And I I think, well, well, I hope they will. I certainly hope they will. Um, I hope they'll succeed. I hope Elon Musk succeeds in uh, two, three days time actually I think they're planning on doing it on the 14th of March so that's three days time yes um, huge anticipation can't wait to see that um, yeah I think we are in simultaneously a very troubled epoch in human history or a very troubled era um, and that there's huge problems in the world there's you know very there's a hugely uh, destructive, violent war going on in Ukraine. There's Gaza, Palestine. Um, there's climate change. There's resource security issues. There's austerity. There's all these things going on. But simultaneously, we're living in an age of huge and st staggering and very, very rapid technological progress with things like rocketry, AI, private space exploration, all these sorts of things. And um, it's... A, fascinating and exhilarating time to be alive I think and um, yeah I think in the future we're going to see people get to Mars I think that Starship will eventually get us to Mars I'm very very hopeful for this flight test I'm very very hopeful that Musk's technology will actually allow that will actually allow people to set foot on Mars possibly within the next decade and um yeah, I can't wait for that if and when that happens. When that happens, I think we'll get there one day with it. I think it is a matter of when and not if. So yes, I mean, that will be the most important thing that our species has ever done, or one of the biggest steps forward that we've ever taken. It'll be, yeah, one of the greatest leaps forward for mankind if you want to borrow that phrase from Neil Armstrong <laughs> yeah um, seeing astronauts land on the moon sorry Mars yes I believe I believe I believe I believe I believe one day that will happen um, rockets the size of the Empire State Building like one day I think that will happen we're already seeing rockets the size of a skyscraper take off anyway with Starship it is the size of a skyscraper but the size of large skyscrapers or very large skyscrapers taking off. One day, yes, I think we'll see that. I think we'll see space becoming more open. I think we'll see more space tourism. 
private space exploration, reaching further out into the solar system, and um, heady and exciting days these are indeed, and a great reason for living and wanting to be alive, to see these sorts of things happen, I think. And um, yeah, it's one of the reasons why I, well, yeah, it's one of the things that excites me about life, these sorts of things, rockets, space technology, engineering, scientific progress, mathematical progress, technical progress. I think, yeah, all these things, they're, they're helping us get to, even though it's, it's rough going at the moment with geopolitics and everything, I think that eventually we'll get to better, more halcyon days and days of greater liberty for humanity and um, greater enjoyment of life for everybody. I think we'll get there one day with it. So thank you for watching. I just wanted to say that um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.